go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that bell. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another hair review and this hair came from uh, Amazon and it was a 13 by 4 um, straight wig and as you can see that's how it looked. Now if you've been watching me for a while you know I have not bleached my knots on any wig for a while now. I am using the wig knot healer to pretty much uh I, I'll, I'll guess i'll say bleach my knots meaning it make your knots look like scalp like um so yeah so i'm putting that all over the lace and i sprayed it evenly throughout the lace and once i do that i'm pretty ready to install it but instead i kind of wanted to do a different style with this this wig i kind of wanted to give it like the 90s cut um and with the 90s cut you know you have like that curve like in the front of the hair so i kind of wanted to do that with this wig so i went ahead and gave it a cut i did flat iron the hair off camera but you will see me yeah definitely cutting it and after I'm done cutting it, I'll be back to install it. Okay guys, so we're about to get ready to install this wig. Um, so yeah, you guys, like I said, I already had then um, flat ironed this hair and I gave it a cut like the 90s cut. Um, so I am going to probably cut it a, just a tad bit more to kind of give it a little more of that slanted look in the front. Um, and once I am done cutting it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this wig. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to cut off the side of the lace to kind of fit around my ear area. And I'm going to do that for both uh, sides of the wig. Um, this time I'm actually going to leave my lace on to install the wig. Usually I don't leave my lace on because I just don't, most of the time I don't like the the effect of how it comes out with like leaving your lace on to either glue it down or gel it down but i am going to leave it on for now and once i'm done fitting the sides of the lace we're going to come back and um glue it uh jelly down
okay guys so right now we're about to secure this wig with the main grip liquid ice and again if you have been watching me uh you know i have been using uh my temporary hold liquid ice um and this product is a temporary hold product so meaning it's not waterproof and it's not sweat proof it's just a temporary way to secure your wigs if you don't want to use glue so i just pretty much put that over my whole hairline and once i am done uh spreading this out throughout my hairline i'm just going to take a blow dryer and blow dry it a little bit until it get tacky because you guys already know when you melt ice i mean when you put heat on ice what happened to it it melts so pretty much we're going to melt this lace um, so once I'm done drying it, I will then uh, take the lace and place it over um, the liquid where I place the liquid ice set and gently massage it in. And then I'll tie it up for maybe about 10 minutes and let it do its melting process. Okay guys, so now that I let it sit for about 10 minutes, I'm going to come and take this off. And I'm pretty much, well here I'm taking the hot comb to try to push all the, the baby hairs back. So I can get ready to cut the lace off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so now that I'm done cutting the lace off, I am going to put the wrap back on and let it sit for another 10 minutes to let the liquid ice completely dry because certain parts wasn't all the way dry. So I just put the wrap back on there to let it finish doing its meltdown. So now that the, the um, liquid ice is completely dry, we just gonna go back in and again just style the wig and um, flatten it and flat on it and yeah you guys just watch me do that and I'll be back. Okay guys, so right now we're going to go in with the main grip lace tint uh, and sweet caramel. We're just going to take a little bit of that and put out
out on the the lace in the front um uh, we're not going to be creating no baby hairs on this wig but i kind of did want to just tint the lace a little bit because i noticed that it was a tad bit light for my skin so i just wanted to put a little lace tint mousse on there just to make it match with um my skin my skin tone Okay, so guys, we're finishing up with styling this wig. And yeah, you guys, I think we're pretty much done. I flat ironed it and I made it look real nice. So pretty much here is the finished look. Um, I definitely enjoyed this wig because this wig definitely take me back, back, way back when, when I used to actually wear my natural hair like this because my natural hair was this long at one point in time. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely let me know your thoughts on me styling this wig, but definitely stay tuned to the rest of the video to hear my thoughts on, um, this wig and how I rated this wig. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to talk about this fabulous wig. So, as you can see guys, I decided to go with a middle part and I decided to cut it like the 90s cut. Yes, I remember when I used to cut my natural hair like this when I used to get perms, you know? So, relaxers, perms, whatever y'all call it. So, I remember when I used to cut my hair like this, I used to love the, the curve when I used to cut my hair like this but yeah so I decided to give it that 90s cut look and you guys I am so enjoying this hair it is so soft and I like it because it's not too too thick but it's not too thin because it gives you that that natural hair because sometimes when some is too, too thick, you know that it's probably not your hair. But I'm not getting that from this. I'm getting like, okay, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. And it's like just right to where it actually look like and can be my natural hair. So, yeah, I'm definitely loving this wig. Um, so, I did use my liquid ice to uh, put this wig down with and I also use the knot healer and chocolate because as you can see I did not bleach my knots at all um, I just put that in there and um, for the lace I used the lace tint mousse and sweet caramel um, to tint the actual lace so yeah you guys I pretty much use every goddamn product on this wig <laughs> um, but yeah so in the beginning I showed you guys how I cut this wig and how I did not bleach my knots using the knot healer um, and of course I showed you guys how I installed it using the mean grip liquid ice uh, but so far guys this wig is definitely holding up 
Um, I'm not having too much issues. The hair was so soft when I received it. And as you can see, I can run my hands through it and not get any tangling or shedding, which was really, really good for me. Uh, when I received it, it didn't have any type of smell or anything to it. Um, so far, I am enjoying this wig, but I am going to wear it a little a little longer to see how it holds up. You guys know I work out every day, every week. Um, so, I'll see how this wig holds up when I work out to see, you know, once I sweat, if it's going to uh, tingle up or anything. Because, you know, once you sweat, they'll let you know if it's going to tingle up in the back and whatnot. Uh, but... I do have this wig on temporarily because if you guys don't know the liquid ice is a temporary hold. It's not nothing that is sweat resistant. It's not uh, water resistant. It's not none of that. Um, it's just a temporary hold for, the, for those who, who uh, don't like to wear glue. So that's what the liquid ice is for. It's only a temporary hold guys. It may hold you a few hours. It may hold you a day or two. It's just a temporary hold. Um, so yeah. So that's what that's good for. And I put that wig. This wig on temporary. Because I be doing so many wigs y'all. I can't keep them on like I used to. But yeah. So if you guys. So so far you guys. Uh, for my first impression of this wig, out of a 10, I would give it a 9.5. I never really give wigs a 10, but I'll give it a 9.5 for now. Um, but I'm going to keep wearing this wig to see how it holds up. And I'll definitely come back and let you guys know how this wig did. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys, again, want to purchase anything that I use in this video, I'll put all the links down in the description bar. Um, and that's pretty much it, you guys. Before I jump out of this video, I definitely encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel. It is free to do so. Just hit the subscribe button. And if you guys do not want to miss any of my any of my uploads, definitely hit the notification bell. And if you guys enjoy watching this video, give it a thumbs up. And you guys... Definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on how I installed this wig and also my thoughts on this wig. Just leave it down in the comment section. Of course, if you have any other questions about any products that I used in this video, you can also leave that down in the comment section and I'll answer everything to the best of my ability. Uh, again, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.